Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. Thank Appreciate you. it. Um, your executive order here has been called an historic step, but since we're at a tools place, does this give you the tools that you really need to make this a game changer for the American worker? Well, it does, and it's also just the beginning. We're doing many, many things. You've seen that already, both environmentally and other ways to create jobs. Uh, our job numbers are incredible, and uh, you're going to see some very big numbers coming out over the next 90 days, 120 days. It's all taking effect, and I have to tell you, uh, your governor has been fantastic, Scott Walker, and your senator, Ron, right over there. Hello, Ron Johnson. But they've been fantastic. We have a great team. Everybody, I mean, everybody from this state has been so fantastic, but, so it's really helped. But do you need some legislative muscle behind this? As you know, maybe uh, Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin has introduced a bill called America uh, for America Jobs and to create a system where U.S. steel and iron would be used for in infrastructure projects. Do you support that? Well, I do. I support the concept of everything from the U.S. You know, I don't know if you saw that I approved a pipeline, right, called the Keystone Pipeline right. and other pipelines, and I want them to use American steel, American product. I want it manufactured here. And I made those changes just before we signed it. I said, where's the steel coming from? So all pipelines that are coming into this country from now on has Future to be American ones, steel, right. which, is, which, is really a big, which is really a big factor. So I'm very much into that, and I agree with it 100%. Uh, Wisconsin needs money for transportation, roads, highways, has aging infrastructures. Right. How soon will you deliver on your promise of a trillion dollar infrastructure investment? Very soon. I think it's going to come probably as part of one of the other bills. Uh, people want it. I want it. But I want to use it to get, whether it's health care or tax reform or something, I want to use it for that. Uh, but I say very soon we're going to have a trillion dollar plan and it's going to fix up our roads, our highways, our uh, airports, and so many other things. And Wisconsin will be getting a big piece of it. How concerned and worried should Americans be about a thermonuclear war with North Korea? Look, you always have to be concerned. You don't know exactly who you're dealing with. Uh, I had a great, great meeting with the president of China, and that meeting tells me a lot, and you've seen a lot of things happen. They have a pretty good power, not a great power perhaps, but a pretty good power over North Korea. Uh, we're going to see what happens. Uh, it's a very, very tricky situation. This should have been done by President Obama. It should have been done by previous presidents all the way back to Clinton. And everybody pushed it off. They just pushed it off. And, you know, if you look at Clinton, you read his book, he talked about how he made this wonderful deal. He didn't make a good deal. He made a terrible deal. All he did is say, essentially, do whatever you want to do. And now I'm put in a position where he actually has nuclear, and we're going to have to do something about it. Hopefully, he wants peace, and we want peace, and that's going to be the end determination, but we're going to have to see what happens. You're approaching your 100 days in office. Uh, no big legislative wins, but do you still have confidence in Speaker Ryan that he will be able to deliver on your agenda when it comes to tax reform, health care, in the House? Well, I think we are going to have a big win soon because we're going to have health care, and I believe that's going to happen. And, you know, there was no, like, loss with health care. This is just a constant negotiation. And the plan is getting better and better all the time. We've had great help from the people here, if you want to know the truth, from Speaker your senator. Ryan. And from Speaker Ryan. I'll tell you, he's been terrific. He is right now in NATO. And I said, make sure some of these other countries start paying their bills, because that's very important to me, if you want to know the truth. But Speaker Ryan's been terrific. I think we're going to have some great legislative victories in the very near future. And I think one of them is going to be health care, and I think the other one's going to be tax reform. And very importantly, we have a uh, justice of the United States Supreme Court who was not only nominated, but who was confirmed during my first 90 days. So we're very proud of that. He's going to be fantastic. And hopefully that's going to mean a lot for our Second Amendment, among other things. Mr. President, thank you very much for your thank time. You. Enjoy your time in Wisconsin. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fantastic.